You cannot do that. Wednesday, 20 October 2001. You cannot do that. We have rules and we enforce them. Maybe it's good to be ostracized from time to time. Become a little notorious for not going along with the crowd. For offending society so much that they have to push you out. For what? Peeing on the flowers? No, only dogs can do that. Smoking pot on the stoop? No, we can all do that now. Having your hair the wrong length for your gender representation? Not a thing anymore. Showing your nipples? Perfectly legal. Thinking independently? Who would know? Giving away daisies or hugs? As long as you're not too smelly or unkempt, it's fine. Building Lego castles on the beach? Completely insane. We have sand here. And everyone is walking around barefoot. And puffer fish are gonna choke on those small pieces when they get washed out to sea. You are banned from the shoreline, but for a stupid reason. Maybe no one is wise enough to be ostracized anymore. Oh, there are a few nutty prophets out there. They fringify themselves, drinking only cat milk, stuff like that. Or the Julian Assanges and Edward Snowdens. Oops, putting secrets out there about what the government is really up to. Can't have that. Except that we need the truth. What to do? Must maintain the disorderly order of things. The official story. The national fable. A truth so simple even a child can whistle it. We go along to get along and cheat as much as we can off the books, of course, to keep the balance level in our own eyes, in our own lives, of endless secret resentments. One day we're going to have a national holiday, one day a year, when we are allowed to tell the truth without fear of reprisal about how we really feel about things, how crooked and queer we are, and how much resentment we carry, how much we're happy that certain groups are privileged and certain are sub subjugated. I want one day for us, U.S., as a nation, to tell the truth about how we have treated the indigenous people of this continent and how we have worked for our entire history to keep black Americans in a permanent second-class status. The next day we can get out our grease guns and lube up the machinery of lies and keep the whole corrupt game going because the printing press of money and untruth cannot be allowed to stiffen and rust. Otherwise, we'd have to take a good long look at each other and realize we are all us. And that there is no other an unobtainable, un, unobtainable dream is a lie. Am I lying to you right now? Funny hats. That's how we do it. Okay, bye.